Hi, I'm Dr. Jess Goodman, President of Vital Signs. In the last video, I talked about aortic pulse wave velocity, how it relates to aortic stiffness, and how aortic stiffness is a great way to assess overall health, predict lifespan, and show improvement with healthy lifestyle choices. Now, I'm going to talk about how aortic pulse wave velocity is measured. In the past, aortic pulse wave velocity required expensive equipment costing about $25,000 and a pressure sensor placed precisely over the carotid artery, another pressure sensor placed right over the femoral artery, and calculation of the pulse transit time between the two. iHeart does this in a much simpler fashion using a simple optical pulse sensor. The iHeart device slips over your finger and in 30 seconds can interpret the arterial pulse wave, calculate aortic pulse wave velocity, and give you an indication of where you are and show you how much better you're getting with really good lifestyle choices. How does iHeart do this? Well, within every single person's arterial pulse wave, there are three separate waves. The first, the primary wave, occurs when the heart beats. When the heart contracts, a wave ripples down the arteries of all of the different blood vessels of the body. It goes from the heart right to the ends of the fingers and toes. This pulse wave reflects somewhere towards the bottom of the aorta, back towards the heart. And in a healthy young person, this reflected wave, the second component that you see in the fingertip arterial pulse wave, the reflected wave gets back to the heart just as the heart starts to relax, keeping pressure up in the aorta, allowing blood to flow into the coronary arteries, feeding the heart muscle. Very subtle timing, beautiful engineering to keep us alive and feed the heart during its relaxation phase. So you can see these two waves, the primary wave and the reflected wave in the fingertip arterial pulse with the sort of processing iHeart uses. A third wave, the dichrotic wave occurs when the heart starts to relax and you get a closure of the valve at the top of the heart, the aortic valve, ending the contraction phase. In a healthy young person, the reflected wave comes in just before the dichrotic wave. iHeart is able to characterize the reflected wave, know exactly when it starts. We develop an index based on that called the reflected wave index and using that we calculate aortic pulse wave velocity and aortic stiffness. iHeart is the only device of its kind. Other fingertip sensors use the arterial wave for uh, blood oxygen saturation and heart rate alone. iHeart is the only device to obtain aortic pulse wave velocity using the arterial pulse signal. Please visit goiheart.com to find out more about iHeart, aortic pulse wave velocity, and aortic stiffness.